thank uh, Mr. Abramovich for bringing me back, and I thank the fans uh, for everything they, they give me. But now it's time for me to to work hard, and it's time for me to try to to give them what they want and and, and what they they deserve. And I hope uh, in next matches they forget me and they they focus on on the players and in the team, getting behind, creating a good atmosphere, because this is this is football. This is fantastic. Did your team ease off a little bit in the second half there? I don't know, because maybe they couldn't do the same as they did in the first half. I think the first half was was too fast and too intense and too creative and too dynamic for the first match of, uh, of the season. We start in, in an amazing way. Not even a missed penalty could, could break that intensity and that quality. And I think the first half was, was fantastic. Uh, I played uh, so many matches at, at Stamford Bridge with Chelsea, and we didn't play many times with that beautiful quality that we did in the first half was, was fantastic. So in the second half, I don't think it was a question of attitude. I don't think it was a question of the team to, to try to control. I think it was, was the consequence of what they did in the first half, was the consequence of the preseason and, and the week they had, uh, especially my uh, three players behind the striker, Azar, De Bruyne and Oscar, which are the players that give you that dynamic and that movement. These three players were involved in in national team matches, and um, I think they felt a little, a little bit. So we thought, or they felt, that the game was under control. And after that, uh, I think the second half was naturally different than, than the first one. You sound surprised by how good that first half display was. I'd say surprise. Uh, I'm expecting that, but in in this moment, in in smaller periods, uh, and it was. Consecutive uh, first 35, 37 minutes were were all the same movement, dynamic, a touch, a pass, uh, depth movements, good transitions, losing the ball, pressing high. Um, so it was really, really good. So in the second half, I thought we could we could uh, kill the the result. We didn't. We had uh, not many chances. A couple of of them, especially the the Shurla one, when I saw the ball. Uh, leaving his, his, his foot, I thought, uh, was a goal. Um, I tried to give them a bit more dynamic with fresh people, with Lukaku and, uh, and Van Ginkel and, and Schurler, but I think at that time our defensive block was already low and uh, we gave the ball to, to Old City and we just sat back controlling the game and, and, and the possession. You mentioned the three behind the striker. You've got Shirley, you've got Oscar, you've got Juan Mata waiting of to course. come back in. You've got all these players. Do these players who are new to you excite you? You know, it's uh, a different profile of, 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 of squad I had from, from the past. And uh, uh, these three start the match. And as you were saying, we have Shirley and Mata. We have also Moses. Uh, he was not even on, on, on the bench. So we have six players for these three positions who give us uh, and give me especially as a as a manager, the possibility of, uh, of change during the match, of change from match to match, uh, of change depending of, uh, of the opponent and the, the game plan. So uh, it's very based on, this, on these three players that uh, we create our football. And Frank's still doing it for you? Wow. It's amazing. Uh, uh, he is what he is. Uh, I don't need to, I don't need to, to speak. Uh, Bruce was making fun with me, uh, saying that uh, there is a, a bridge at, at Hull, so if I can send lamps to the Hull Bridge, <laughs> he accepts him on loan. <laughs>